Hello, Internet. So, uh, after a short break, actually, I thought I'd uh, uh, be playing session after session after session, but I actually decided to break for even more food. But anyway, uh, now I'm back, and uh, let us continue with this game. I think fundamentally, the, the difficulty with this harder difficulty level... Um, uh, well, not the difficulty with this harder difficulty level, but more the, uh, the drawback of this higher difficulty level is that obviously I need to have more defense than I would otherwise, and so that's been kind of holding me back from, uh, actually doing my Thing, like doing this culture thing I'm really behind on the on the culture um, and I really haven't uh, wow okay um, yeah I haven't been doing enough and others have been doing things and uh, it's, yeah, so it's not necessarily that they're going to be a lot better at culture than normal. Well, they probably are, but uh, but more that I just haven't been doing the focus as much as I would have otherwise because I had to build troops so that I didn't die. Um, but I don't really think there's any huge risk of actually dying. Uh getting defeated in this game as long as you actually build the units to defend against those things and Gorgo of Corinth just keeps on fighting me this is very unwise um, she should peace out because I'm like I've just been keep continuously firing at her boats continuously and one would think they should get bored of getting fired at, but keep on sending more units for me to shoot. Um, okay, well, that was actually a bad choice. That, with that, but anyway. Oh, actually, I should have just moved. Yeah. Need to keep my hoplites next to each other. So they get their hoplite bonus. And my archers are just uh, very good. Let's just skip your turn right now. Um, okay. Nothing to report. Everyone's doing culture things, so finally we're going to get some culture up and running. I'm about to buy a tile. So then we get pearls, and that might actually solve some of our... I mean, our happiness issues right now are actually due to being in this war. And I would like to get out of the war, but... Uh, can I go through here? Because... What I say is it is friendly with me, so well, they're my kind of vassal. Uh, let's move you. Uh, yeah, let's do that. I understand it would be broken if being on a hill gave you a one extra range, but it would be cool if if you could do that. Um, but yeah, it would be kind of game breaking in a way. Okay, so uh, is that my warrior? Yes, it is my warrior. I might actually want to 
do something about this. Didn't realize that that popped up. Uh, can I get an archer in range easily? Possibly. We're going to go around the south so that we don't just get into a forest and get melee. So this is the warrior that I sent from Ephesus um, to reinforce Athens. Where'd the archer go that I had? That's a good question. Was that the archer that was meant to be going to Athens? That might be. Okay. Uh... In that case, I'm uh, yeah. gonna set you on your way. Sorry, Archer, for waylaying you for such a long time. Um, let's actually move there. Oh, okay. So Sparta, please purchase it. Oh, don't purchase the tile because you don't have any money. Uh, okay. Let's just ah. That is indeed interesting. So it does seem that cliffs stop you from... Actually, let's see, maybe it's just that I don't have full movement. Let's skip the turn. Ooh, that, and that gold might push me. I mean, probably not. Probably need to kill two encampments. Okay, yeah, you definitely cannot embark onto a cliff. That is cool. I mean, disembark onto a cliff. So, that does mean that cliffs on coasts have really good defense um, characteristics, and I can indeed place an archer, say, there, and know that it isn't going to get disembarked on, and it's going to have uh, a lot of ranged ability. In any case, we're going to disembark there, and then we're going to embark when we finally do have the gold. Um, let's fortify and fortify. Oh, bad guys ahead. Okay, so is there going to be any easy way for me to get a great scientist in? Oh, yes, there is going to be. How many turns is this going to take? Um, I'm getting four points per turn. We need roughly uh, 90, 91. Wait, wait, yeah, 91 exactly. Uh, points and... So four points per turn, that would be... 
let's see, like 23? Uh, I think, probably. Um, anyway, 23 turns. Uh, that fits roughly with education. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, Sparta, you have just completed an Acropolis. Oh, the maintenance costs on these buildings. Ugh. Ugh, indeed. See, this is, this is something I hate. Um... When you place maintenance costs based on the number of buildings, uh, yeah, essentially, one of my key gripes from the change from Civ 4 to Civ 5 was the way maintenance changed. And in Civ 4, you got a maintenance per city and kind of uh yeah penalty and so having lots and lots of cities was not economically feasible and you obviously having more cities thus allowed you to do more but it was kind of a, a balancing act between the maintenance you were paying on an extra city and you could in fact like bankrupt yourself just by building your third second or third city too early um, before you can really afford to do it um uh yeah so that, that was the kind of balancing out well in five and six the maintenance costs are based on basically how high you've built the city and that's really like it really doesn't encourage well, it discourages you from building tall and it encourages just building wide and I just don't like it as a in terms of gameplay design uh, but anyway uh, could do that but we are really losing gold right now is there any way we can make... Maybe we could just do this. And then we could use the thing for the... The Great Engineer. Yeah, maybe we'll just cr crunch out a Great Engineer. Um, how many turns is that going to take? It's going to take 12 turns. Um, so essentially we're turning 348 production into some gold and some great engineer points. Um, and then the great engineer is 645. So we're probably going to be losing, um, yeah, I don't know how many, how many great engineer points is it going to give us? Um, actually, is there a uh, project? No. Oh. Uh, is there a thing that says projects? Just oh yeah. So, um, industrial zone logistics. Oh, very, very specific. Doesn't tell us. Okay, that's not very useful. Um, you're an archer, you go back on the hill. Uh, you can sleep. Uh, you can go there. Move one space, then promote. Battle 
Cry seems to always be the best option in the terms of this. Maybe later game, the the kind of tortoising, like whatever it's called, the promotion that gives you strength against ranged attacks. Maybe when you get lots of rocket barrages and all that, having that defensive strength would be good. Um, let's go there. Oh my god, I hate how that happens. You think you're giving orders to someone and then you're not actually giving orders to that person. Yeah, like... So you give orders, it flicks to some person, and then you get flicked to who really wants to give you or uh. Um... Okay, they've come back for more. Apparently there's a way to, um, essentially like mod it. Um, change the the files in the game. So that, oh, there is a cabinet there. Oh, why are we suddenly making gold? Closer to another promotion. Let's send you there. You there, I guess. Yeah, where, why am I getting gold now? Who's making the gold? Has Athens just changed to gold production? Pro probably Athens was previously doing other things and then suddenly it's like, oh. I actually put my worker back on the diamonds. Uh, it seems like we're just pumping out the citizens here. Is not necessarily the best option? Unhappiness of this place is so different to that, but anyway. Uh, yeah, okay. Ooh, are we at the tile buying stage yet? No. And actually, in seven turns, we could have the Civic to make it cheaper. Alhambra is slowly getting erected. Yeah, they just cycle round. 
their units, but they don't actually really heal them up. I should have really targeted the weakened one so that I could um, kill people, but anyway. Actually, on this note, I'm going to bring my guy down so there's more more in the aura. See, you are going back to there at first, at least. Um, well, Is there a really rush with money? No. Look at this impenetrable wall. We'll fight them on the beaches. Uh, hmm. Can I? Oh, I didn't realize I could do that. Didn't realize they're stacked. Uh, and let's just move that guy there. More gold for me, and an archer that goes to Athens. Well, you go there, I think. Where did my scout go? Oh, he is on his way. Okay. Unit needs orders. Uh, well. Your order is to fortify. Your order is to go there. losing no bull Athen yeah but that's the same as before oh, okay four five lots of turns going on uh I guess How did I do that? Like, did I make a galley? Was that all that they wanted? Was me to make a galley? Maybe that was. Um, okay, they still want a trade route though. And they want a great scientist. Okay. 
we're sort of running away from doing those things. Ah, uh, so my galley does... Now make another galley. Now, Mr. Galley, you are to go on an adventure. Interesting. Uh, okay. Let's look at changing our policies. Uh, maybe we don't need that as much anymore. What are the new things? Ooh, discounts on upgrades. There are all these pillaging ones, and do you actually do that much pillaging? I don't know. I I think, um, uh, what's his name? Um, is it, no, it's not Howard Hodrada. It's, uh, well, maybe it is. What, what is his name? Denmark. Oh, no, it's Norway. Um, yeah, Howard Hodrada. Uh, uh, yeah, with his raiding thing, or with naval melee units, maybe you can make a a kind of a lifestyle, a career out of raiding places. But I just don't think you do enough raiding really to justify a raiding thing. No. But what's going on here? So Buenos Aires declared war against Carthage. Carthage has declared war against. Me? Yes. Uh, but why? Okay. So that only makes sense if Carthage is the suzerain of someone who has declared war against me, but it's, they haven't really declared war against me. Because I don't know who they are. At all. At all, yeah. Uh, it seems like we're not going to get this Nanmadol thing at all. Um, choose civics. Uh, well, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that done anyway, but we're going for Merchant Republic. Um... Why are we going for Merchant Republic is the question. Is it just that it's got the best slots? Uh, maybe. In a way, maybe I should just don't have gone monarchy, but it's just I don't need so many military slots. Yeah, most wild card slots. Um, could we just get monarchy? We need to do a lot of things. Oh, we've already. We're not going to boost theology anyway. Um, Oh, I know it will require civil service, so no, let's just 
get on our way to exploration. Um, okay. Oh, do we have a an envoy or what's going on here? No, we don't. Uh, you are fortifying. We are deciding whether to switch into a government that gives me cheap uh, tile purchases. Oh, trade confederation is interesting. Um, is it one tile time top? No. Uh, though we might still want to change our policies anyway. Is there anything going on here that we might prefer? Cheaper unit upgrades to replace maritime industries. Sparta, you are purchasing a towel. Oh. You are not purchasing a towel. You're purchasing a towel in two turns. Um, sleep. explore this island. Oh, that's cool. I thought it was just a one tile island, but multiple tiles, that could be a good little place to settle. Did Namadal lose its suzerain? Yeah, yeah. Japan lost Namadal's Vassalage. Get again. Uh, interesting. Who's that? Is that Japan? Oh, it's Germany. Okay. Oh, we let someone land. I don't understand why there's not like a sentry thing. It's only fortify. Uh, major victory. Probably didn't need that bonus. Probably opened myself up to attack more than I did. So I guess that was a tactical error. Um, if they land in that marsh, then this warrior is going to smash some skulls.
Diplomate Exploration. Sparta, let's actually buy you this tile. Please get some. Uh, yeah, good pearls. That's gonna solve some of my amenity issues. I don't think all of them. I think that's well, this. The race to four. Still, this war weariness thing is really annoying me. Um, our Ephesus will actually be content, and Athens will be still displeased. Why is Ephesus? Happier than Athens. Luxury will wear us entertainment. Or oh, four. Ah, yeah, well, it's because of the. Buenos Aires thing. Um, Sparta has two bonus resources. Ephesus has three bonus resources. Yeah, three. Bo oh, that's a luxury. Uh, I don't know. It's got two bonus resources, but one less population than Sparta. Athens has only has two bonus resources as well. I don't understand why Athens is on is less happy then. Luxury is three, luxury is four, luxury is three. Hmm, interesting. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Now, builders, maybe builders. Do we have, oh, we don't have that special builder. Thing. Oh, and we just. Oh, was that giving us gold per turn? Because I did some industrial zone logistics and I did not get any gold. I did get a lot of great engineer points though. Um, yeah, I'm not sure whether we got any gold there. It was a small amount of gold. That's very perplexing to me. Um, in any case, probably more builders. You can never have enough builders. Uh, no, we could do another settler. We could settle like there. Ooh, that's very tempting. And then we have this island that Corinth would just throw troops at and we'd have it fully filled with defensive units. That would be the proving grounds. What we really need is um, to get these tiles and get our commercial hub. It's just, yeah, it's annoying. Um, did we need medieval walls for something? Uh, it might be a civic, maybe. No, that's past medieval walls. Maybe it was feudalism. It 
does it actually say? What boosts it? No. Who knows? I can't see anything, so let's not care about it. And it's extra expense for no reason. Um, so we could just get more archers, but then Ephesus is just make better at making those things. So maybe we continue to do industrial logistics, or maybe we get into... Um, yeah, let's actually see. So we've got 29.5 culture per turn right now, and 12.7 per turn here. Yeah. That's actually going to go up due to the uh, amenities thing. But anyway, because we're about to get uh, another local resource. So, what is that actually doing? Explore when you're in danger. Um, So our culture per turn has gone up. Uh, is Theatre Square Festival what this is? Okay. So, plus 4.5 from Theatre Square Festival. What is the completion? Like, is it that we are getting... So those points per turn haven't gone up. So I'm assuming that we get a small amount of great writer, great artist, and great musician points at the completion of the Theatre Square Festival. And while we're doing the festival, we get this thing. And then we probably get got we were getting gold while we did the industrial zone thing, I think. That's what I'm gonna assume. Hello, badly. Um, yeah. Badly landed unit. You know? Well, I guess that's the best place for them to land in the first place. Fortify. And fortify. I'll send you back up there. Are there any other luxuries that we have not yet exploited because we really are lacking in the luxury? Um. Let's just finally get some quarries.
I found a tribal village. I still think I'm lagging behind in terms of culture per turn. Yeah, I'm very much lagging behind in terms of culture per turn. Well, at least I've jumped over Germany. If you're going to be like that, then I'm going to shoot you. I don't understand why there's all this war weariness. We're winning the war. Oh, faith. Wow. Certainly needed that faith. Oh, that's actually a really good. A lot better than some other places in terms of. Resources or sea resources. Uh, are we all good? I might just ask Gorgo to peace out because it's just getting very tiresome. So, can we make peace with you? Okay, well, so they'll just accept it. Um, can you give me something? Can I get cotton off you? Because you cannot accept that deal. Okay, well, actually, Root of the thing. Yeah, this piece is just the war weariness is crippling some of my cities, so I'm just tired of this war. I had hoped that Gorgo would Gorgo of Corinth would give me Gorgo of Sparta some stuff to get out of the war, but I guess not. That war probably lasted 500 years or something like that, and who knows how much progress could have occurred if I'd not been in the... Oh, okay, whatever. Okay, so. You're going back to there. Ephesus is now happy. Do, 
the, the removal of the war weariness. Could have been getting these bonuses all this time. is an interesting policy. Uh, okay, well we're, oh yeah, 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 I'm gonna move away from that border anyway, so it's like, Okay, some boosting has occurred. Finish off the builder, yeah, I think so. What if I... Um, let's send you to find the Southern Passage. See if there's this kind of a route around Antarctica that we can circumnavigate. Uh, now, was there another thing that we needed to do here? No, not really. Nice to know where everyone actually is now, after all these years. Maybe we'll meet this mysterious final civilization. From looking at this, I think we're actually on the best landmass. We've actually got the most space, more space than everyone else does. I mean, they have, yeah. Corinth is just crippled here. Um, yeah, I mean, they have some nice resources, but everyone has some nice resources. Um, Yeah, there's no way to move or expand here and limited tiles, the holy site that they've got there. I mean, yeah, 
that's a significant portion of their available land area. Every time they put a district down, they're actually denying themselves a lot of stuff. Newcastle and Plymouth are just crammed next to each other. Who knows how much land is behind here, but presumably London is over here. Um, but yeah, it's just... don't get why the AI just crams stuff in, but then on the other hand, I was just complaining about how um, the game makes it far too easy to oops, no, that's not what I want. Um, spam cities everywhere and that be more effective than having big Ooh, that's a great admiral. Okay. This is a nice land area. Well, I'm a little worried, but oh, yay! Is that my great scientist? Yes, it's my great scientist. Possibly shouldn't have kept on going with education. Maybe I should have. Um, switched over for efficiency. The amount of things that you need to do in this game for efficiency. Um, it's like, uh, what is it? Like a, um, attack animation cancelling in some action games. It's just, it's dumb. It's like clinically dumb. Uh, okay, so, uh, do we go for the printing? Do we immediately go for Patala Palace now, or do we go towards printing first? Uh, Flatland near city centre. Hill adjacent to a mountain. That is a lot easier to find, I think. It's also probably less production. Yeah, so we should rush to that first. What does this Alhambra actually give us? Oh, it's a fort. Oh, okay. But it gives us amenities. In great general points, so this just gives us culture, this gives us culture and faith, and then Big Ben obviously gives some kind of money thing, yeah. Um, okay. Oh, we. Yeah, we got our great scientist on that. Pleased them. I think we've also got an envoy now, yeah. Uh, let's see. Campus research grants. Theatre square thingy. So for more culture. Uh, what did you just finish? Oh, the Acropolis. Um. Isn't really anything that we need here. So we could just grind culture. S yeah, anyway. Um, print 
printing is going to take some time. We need an iron mine. Okay. What do you actually give? Is that all you do? Just... Yeah, well, that's not really useful to me right now, but anyway. Oh my god! Wow! Wow! Really want Isaac Newton. That's a lot better. Uh, let's see if we can grind out Isaac Newton in the time it takes. Uh, let's just get Euclid to do some things. Must be on a completed campus. Okay. Put you on campus. One random medieval era. Oh, great. Military engineering. Just what I always wanted to boost. Would that be something that I would have done anyway? Like... I'll build an aqueduct. That's very easy. Oh, but I've actually boosted everything in the medieval era anyway, so... No worries. Uh, actually... On that note, let's, uh... End this episode here. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy whatever it is that you're doing on the internet. See you next time.